Hello, and welcome to Matthew 25 Ministries. Many people ask us what the inside of a 40-foot container looks like. Well, you're standing inside one. Not really, of course, but this is suggestive of what a 40-foot container looks like, and it's how we ship our international humanitarian aid to locations including the Caribbean, Central America, and other locations throughout the world. A container holds 36 pallets of products. If you look behind you, you'll see what a typical pallet consists of. A wooden skid with a large cardboard box called a Gaylord on top, filled with products. Since Matthew 25 Ministries first began delivering products in 1991, we have shipped more than 125,000 pallets. If you were to stack all of those pallets on top of one another, they would be as tall as 87 Mount Rushmores, or 344 Empire State Buildings, or as long as two Panama Canals, or 119 Golden Gate Bridges. Let's take a look at how Matthew 25 Ministries grew from a small organization carrying suitcases of supplies to an international humanitarian relief organization delivering more than 400 40-foot containers of products each year to people in need. Matthew 25 and, and the Center for Humanitarian Relief, uh, what they do best is really get things that people need around the world that they can't get for themselves into their hands. I can see in these faces that it is very much appreciated. There is hope there. Uh, we have a hope that we can do things by ourselves, that we have friends in other place that can give us little hands to help us to get up. What began as one man's vision to bring hope to war-ravaged Central America has blossomed into a true miracle. Reverend Wendell Meddy left his thriving church to launch Matthew 25 Ministries after witnessing extreme poverty and suffering on a mission trip to Nicaragua. Uh, I went into a burns unit of a children's hospital. Uh, there were no mattresses, no sheets. Uh, the children were just being wrapped up in basically rags. They had no medicine. And uh, hearing those children cry and and seeing the poverty and knowing that we were just two hours away by airplane, uh, I just said, you know, I want to do something. I want to help these people. We started out carrying suitcases full of supplies to Nicaragua. In those early years, we used some 30 U.S. Air Force cargo planes to deliver aid. We started shipping then to all of Central America. In the South America, we started in the Caribbean countries. Today, we ship more than six million pounds a year and hundreds of 40 foot ocean going containers. I think the best way that I can describe Matthew 25 Ministries is that we are garbage pickers for the Lord. That we go into uh, U.S. corporations and we look around their facilities and we find products that uh, maybe cannot be put back on the shelf. Uh, they don't know what to do with them. Uh, they can send them to Matthew 25 Ministries and uh, it's a win-win all the way around. Uh, they get a nice tax write-off. It saves the landfill and then the products that are sent to us still have a lot of potential to help people that are in need. Most business people would be very surprised to learn that many of the things that they're throwing away or disposing of in other ways because they think there is no more useful life left in these things would have a tremendous impact uh, to other people around the world. And Matthew 25 is the way to get that product into their hands. This is a huge international shipping organization. They take things in from all over the world, they repackage it, and then they have to coordinate the logistics of getting those goods back out to people all over the world. Matthew 25 Ministries partners with responsible local organizations run by people who really know the needs of the poor. The idea of working with them is that they know what the reality is, they know what the needs are, they see this. So now we have partners in about uh, 30 countries uh, around the world. We have partners out in the American Indians, we have partners down in Appalachia, and we have a lot of partners here in Greater Cincinnati. When disasters like Hurricane Katrina strike, the Center for Humanitarian Relief instantly links those who wish to help with those who so desperately need to be helped. 
I'm amazed at what they're doing here. It's ongoing from early morning to late at night. We've actually worked Saturdays and Sundays throughout this ordeal. People have just flocked in from all over the city. Uh, black, white, young, old, boy, girl, uh, Christian, Jew, they've all come and they've all pitched in. People are gonna need things for a long time, so, I mean, it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Just helping out the victims of Katrina, we're just lending them a hand. And I'm pretty sure if, we, they, if it happened to us, then they probably would say something for us. I wanted to come out and do something um, aside from getting paid for it. They will continue doing this as long as there is a need. So that motivates me. They know how to get the stuff packed. They know the people to talk to to get it to where it's going to do some good. I mean, it's getting there and it's getting there quick. It is amazing to see goods that would have been thrown away make their way to the poorest of the poor in some of the most remote corners of the world. I personally tracked a shipment to a tiny Nicaraguan village. This road to El Paso Real is pitted with deep ruts. It is hilly, yet this semi loaded with tons of supplies from the United States will wind its way toward the village where Norma Hanna will oversee the distribution of these goods to the poorest of the poor. I came back to Nicaragua. I used to live 30 years in the United States. I feel grateful to God and to Pastor. I know the things he brings and make a difference in the people. We truly can care for a needy world with the things we throw away. And every day I thank God for the many generous donors and dedicated volunteers. They are truly the heart of our ministry. Matthew 25, the Center for Humanitarian Relief, this whole organization, their capacity to handle uh, large donations, the coordinated effort to get all this done, really allows a business to know that their donation is going to get into the hands of people that need it. As a giver or a giver of your time, uh, you want to know that the things are going where they're needed. That's the inspiration that you need to give more. Will you be the hands that bring these children? that bring these children home hope for better dreams mm. imagine receiving a 40-foot container filled with products and goods valued at nearly two hundred thousand dollars now that you've seen how and why we ship our aid to developing countries, I'd like to invite you inside the world of one of those countries by stepping into the next room. Please remember that our global village is representative of developing areas throughout the world and also some parts of our own country, remote Indian reservations, isolated parts of Appalachia, and other areas. Thank you for visiting Matthew 25 Ministries today and enjoy your trip around the world.